Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today I'm going to be answering some of my most frequently asked questions when it comes to making school lunches. Almost 20 weeks ago now, I started my Bunches of Lunches series where I show you what I'm packing for my kids school lunch and what they eat, so whether they liked it or not. And I've been having a lot of fun doing that. But every time I put out a video, I get a ton of questions and I get a lot of the same questions. So I'm gonna to try to answer all of those today about storage and planning and products and more. So stay tuned. First up, I'm going to try to answer the storage question, where I store all of my products. Because if you've seen my videos, you know I have a lot of lunch boxes and little containers and picks and things like that to make the lunches special. And you might also know that my kitchen is pretty small without a lot of storage space. A few weeks ago, I shared a little bit about my storage system on my Instagram stories, but I know not everyone follows me on Instagram and those stories are like gone after 24 hours. So let me go ahead and show you more in depth how I store these things. So instead of storing these items in my kitchen, I actually store them in the garage and I have several things that help keep me organized. First up, I have this plastic drawer system. I got this at Walmart and it wasn't very expensive. I wanna say it was about 17 or $18. And around back to school time, you can even find them for less than that. Then I also use two stackable bins to keep track of everything else. And I also found these at Walmart. They were about $5 each. I keep all of these things in the garage which is not that far from my kitchen, so I can very easily go, get what I need, bring it to the kitchen, and then return it when I'm done. To give you a closer look at the drawers, I'll go ahead and bring them over one at a time, and as I'm going through these items, if I can tell you where they're from, I'll go ahead and let you know. But most of these things are from Amazon, or the Dollar Tree, or Daiso, which is the Japanese dollar store. To keep everything organized, I went to the Dollar Tree first and I bought several of these white organizers. These are meant for your kitchen drawers and they work perfectly for these things. Back over here I have all of my little containers and lids. These are all from the Dollar Tree and these work really well. I haven't had any issues with them leaking. Next to that I have my egg molds and I actually found these at Daiso which is the Japanese dollar store but they also sell these on Amazon and they have even more shapes. I just have the heart one and the star. But on Amazon, you can find even more shapes. In these two sections, I have all of my little picks. I use these for fruits and vegetables to hold sandwiches together and things like that. It makes the lunch boxes really cute and the kids love anything on a stick. And to keep things organized in here, I just got some extra little containers like this to put like items together. Both of these ones are little googly eye picks. These are from Amazon. And these picks are also from Amazon. I really like these for fruits and vegetables. They come in all these different colors and different animals. The kids love these. Now all of these other picks are from Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. These ones are more of a traditional bento style. And then these ones have fun little hearts on the end. These shorter round ones are from Daiso. And these are seasonal ones that I get at Walmart near the cupcake section. These are left over from Valentine's Day. Over here I have all of my silicone molds. I get asked about those all the time. These are all from Amazon and I like different shapes and colors and sizes. They work really well in the lunchbox. I have hearts, regular ones, mini ones, and rectangles. In this big long section I have all of my longer skewers. These ones are from Daiso and these ones are from the Dollar Tree. Now lastly for this drawer, I also have some cupcake liners. I use these for seasonal lunch boxes and things like that. These are just like the silicone ones, but I do throw these away when I'm done using them. Both the silicone ones and the paper ones make a lunch box really cute and easier to clean up after. Moving on to the second drawer. This is where I keep most of my cutters and my molds and things like that. Back over here, I have all of my plastic sandwich cutters. I actually found all of these on Amazon, except for this one. This one came from Daiso. And these come in so many different shapes and patterns. We have stars and butterflies, dinosaurs, you name it. There are so many, and these are actually pretty sharp. They work really well. You just have to make sure that your bread is big enough. 
Over in this corner, I have two little sandwich presses. These guys make uh, basically an uncrustable sandwich, so it seals the bread together. This one is from Daiso, and this one is from Amazon. In this little container, I keep all of my seasonal cookie cutters. Right now we have Valentine's Day in there. I just find these at Walmart, the Dollar Tree, places like that. They're not expensive, and they just make it really fun. Now again for this drawer, I have lots of these little white dividers. They're all from the Dollar Tree. In this section, I have all of my Wilton brand cutters. These ones are the metal ones with the soft grip. They're really nice. I have a flower one, gingerbread man, pumpkin, snowflake. My favorite one is the Mickey Mouse one. That's from Disneyland. I have a Christmas tree, another Mickey one, and some smaller cutters. These are great for things like slices of cheese and things like that. Now over in this section, I have all of my smaller cutters. Some of them are seasonal, like pumpkins and turkeys. I have smaller pumpkins and leaves and things like that. And then I also have nested ones. So we have circles of all different sizes and flowers of all different sizes. And then over here, I also have some of these little presses. These are meant for fondant or sugar cookies, but they work really well for sandwiches. Right over here, I like to tuck all of my reusable snack bags. These are all from Amazon, and these are great. Instead of using a bunch of plastic sandwich bags and throwing them away, you can easily wipe these out, wash them, and reuse them. So chips, crackers, cookies, they can all go in these guys. Most of these cutters I either found at Walmart or Michaels. Now over here in this front bin, I have even smaller cutters. These are great for cheese and vegetables and fruits. So I have some hearts, flowers, and then I even have some mini ones as well. These are all from Amazon. Now moving on to the last drawer. In here I keep all of my sandwich containers, my thermoses, and utensils and things like that. Over here, these little sandwich containers, I find these at the Dollar Tree, sometimes in the dollar section of Target, places like that. And these work really well. But usually what I like to do, they're made for a sandwich. I actually like to divide up this section and put several different things in the container. Now over here, I'm using one of the white utensil organizers from the Dollar Tree. It's really helping to corral all of these little things. Back over here, I have all of my little sauce containers from the Dollar Tree. You could put ranch in there or salsa, but I do have to warn you guys, if you put something that's tomato-based, they do stain. So I don't recommend pasta sauce or anything like that in these. And then I have these little sauce containers. I get asked about these all the time because they are so cute. And these actually came from Daiso. I've seen them on Amazon, but they're really expensive on Amazon. Over here, I have some mini forks and spoons. These are from the Dollar Tree, and they're actually plastic. They look like they're metal, but they're not. Back in this corner, I have some bamboo skewers. Now, these are actually pretty sharp, so I usually don't send them with the kids if they're going to school or an activity. I usually use these at home where I can supervise them myself. Over here, I have the perfect lunchbox utensil. This comes with a spoon and a fork, and right here, there's a little bit of a knife on there. It's not sharp, it's just meant for spreading things like peanut butter and cream cheese and things like that. These are all from Amazon. Now lastly in this drawer, I also have all of my thermoses. These are all from Amazon, and so far they've been working really well. I've only had them for a few months, but they do keep the food hot really well for quite a long time if I preheat them. These are just the Thermos brand, and I believe these are the 10 ounce ones, which are a good size for my kids. Yes, 10 ounces. Now moving on to my stackable bins. In this first one, I keep all of my lunch boxes, and I do like to have some extra lunch boxes just in case one gets lost or gets moldy, you just never know. Some of these are actually left over from last year, and some are new from this year. In this bin, I also keep my Planet lunch boxes, which are excellent. I don't use these every day, but they are excellent. I love these. But I actually store the lunch boxes in the bag, and I keep all the things in there as well, so it's all kept together. 
In this last stackable bin is where I like to keep all of my plastic containers. And I use a lot of different brands and different styles. It really just depends on what sort of food I'm trying to pack. I really like these Ziploc ones. They're nice and cheap and you can find them just about anywhere. I also have some that are more Japanese style. These are the bento ones. I get these from Daiso. I also have these guys, and these are very similar to the Easy Lunch Boxes, but these are the Amazon version. These work pretty well. And then I also have several different sizes of the Sistema. I really like these ones as well. They're not that expensive, they don't leak, and I really like the Easy sides here so the kids can get them open. It's not hard for them to open. And then lastly over here, I like to keep all of my little cracker containers. I found these at the grocery store, they are so cute. And anytime I wanna send chips or crackers or goldfish, I like to put them in here so that they don't get crushed. And the kids think they're really fun too. Another question I get all the time is about homeschooling. Whether or not we're still homeschooling and why we need to pack a lunch if we are. And long story short, yes, we are still homeschoolers, but we have a little bit of a different schedule. My kids do attend classes and co-ops and activities several times a week where I need to pack them a lunch. And I do pack Lily's lunch, even though she's a preschooler and doesn't really need one. I just go ahead and pack hers because it's convenient and I don't want her to feel left out. The next question is about planning. How do I plan for my lunches? Do I do it in advance or do I just come up with it that day? And sometimes it's both. Ideally, I do like to plan out a week in advance before I go to the grocery store just to make sure I have everything. But a lot of times it's kind of last minute and I just throw it together and hope for the best. So I do both. Sometimes I will write down the stuff in my planner and refer to that, but I quite often will lose my list. So I'm trying something new. I've come up with a little calendar that I can fill out for the month, probably just one week at a time, and I can keep it on the fridge or somewhere in the kitchen to keep track. So I went ahead and made up this printable. I'll go ahead and put it on the familyfudge.com if you'd like to print it out and try it yourself. So we just have Monday through Friday here, and each day I can write down what I'm planning to make because sometimes in the morning it's hard to remember what the plan's supposed to be, so I think that this is really going to help keep me organized. Now when I'm actually putting the lunches together, I try to keep it as well balanced as possible, but I'm not a dietitian or a nutritionist, I'm just a mom who wants her kids to eat. Overall, I try to keep the lunches fun and on the healthier side, but I'm not super strict about it and I don't stress if they have all organic or if they've had sugar, I don't worry about that too much. Okay guys, I hope you found this video interesting today. If you liked it, could you please give it a big thumbs up? And if you have any more questions about school lunch videos or how I do things around here, go ahead and leave those questions down below and I will answer them in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.